Hello, dear friends of science. In 1873, Joshua Willard Gibbs published his first work on thermodynamics, graphical methods in the thermodynamics of fluids, in which he uses the two coordinates entropy and volume to represent the state of a system. In his follow-up work, a method of geometrical representation of the thermodynamic properties of substances by means of surfaces, published later that year, Gibbs added a third coordinate to volume and entropy, namely the system's energy. He correlates these variables verbally and with equations only using very few pictures. Furthermore, in his works, Gibbs did not only use uncommon Greek letters for state variables, like eta for entropy, he also used two-dimensional images for his three-dimensional discussion. In these now famous papers, Gibbs introduced the concept of available energy, later named after him Gibbs energy. With this new concept, he was able to energetically describe equilibria, in particular equilibria for multi-phase systems. Due to the complexity of the representation, Gibbs received little attention for his work at that time. But when James Clark Maxwell read Gibbs' work in the UK, he immediately saw the potential of Gibbs' method. In fact, Maxwell was so fascinated by Gibbs' geometrical approach that he spent about seven months from November 1874 to July 1875 to calculate the energy entropy volume surface of water and build a 3D clay model of it. He made several plaster casts of the surface and sent one of them as a token of his esteem to Gibbs. Today this surface is referred to as Maxwell's surface or Gibbs surface. This sculpture represents the various state conditions, gas, liquid, solid, of a water-like substance in an entropy X, volume Y and energy Z coordinate system. We distinguish single phase areas gas, liquid, the green binodal with a critical point, which defines the boundaries of the homogeneous areas, the two-phase regions, liquid and gas, and a triangle, which is the triple state, the coexistence of gas, liquid and solid state. On the surface of his model, Maxwell engraved lines of constant pressure in blue and constant temperature in red, as calculated according to the first and second law. These lines correspond to lines of constant slope in V or eta direction. State surfaces of pure substances can be built with any two variables in principle. More popular than the thermodynamically demanding Gibbs surface is the pressure volume temperature diagram. In 1871, the Scottish engineer James Thompson, the elder brother of Lord Kelvin, built such a surface based on data for carbon dioxide. And some of my students have actually built a similar model, not to scale, volume, pressure, temperature. Again, we see the single phase regions. We see the binodals, we see the critical point and the triple line. Thanks for watching.